let you in? I walk the corridors of power. And I have the right to walk into any place I want to. For information. I've come to give you a beautiful contract. We are not interested in your contract. I care for you, not we. I am not interested in your contract. I've heard that a thousand times. Look, my husband's office is just next door. I will let him. That guy is not the right guy for you. Eric is the right man for you. But since all my effort to make you wait for him failed, and I decided to... Excuse me, please. You don't know what Ben and doing, Eric and I, so please. That's why I have come to speak for myself. Oh, it's a good day. I've come to pick you for lunch. <laughs> Do I feel hungry to you? What do you even want? You could not wait for Eric. You don't want to give me a chance. What do you want? Oh, you want to spend your entire life waiting for that your boring husband, whom I'm sure he doesn't even love you the way we do. I beg your pardon. I am a married woman. I'm happy the way I am. Please. By the time you try my lunch, you will be a happier person. Oh. Ordering for Chinese? Beautiful. Chinese. Wait until security comes to get you. Maybe it's a long time and I should be on my way. It's just that I'm hot. <laughs> I'm feeling hot. Go take a plunge. <laughs> oh, that's the most romantic word I've ever had in the century. <laughs> I will send you roses tomorrow. Have a nice day. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was. I thought it was that kind of thing. Oh, George. Olivia. Look, that guy is a pest. He won't even give me a breathing space. That guy is crazy. Don't tell me you're still pressing you about Eric. Eric? <laughs> He's giving up on his friend. He actually wants me for himself now. Can you imagine? You are kidding me. I thought I told you about that some time ago. Of course you did, but I thought you were joking. Jesus Christ. That guy got guts. I mean, doesn't he know you're married? Doesn't he know you work in the same office with your husband? <laughs> that guy is crazy. And he sure has guts because he thinks he's a military officer. They don't know me. No matter what, I'm married now. And I'm happy to be where I am. That guy needs some talking to. Don't worry, okay? I'll talk to him. Please do talk to him. Tell him to get off my back before I really, really get mad. Anyways, how was your day?
Oh, I miss you, my dear. My lovely son, Doctor, Doctor Eddie. You're most welcome. How are you? How are you? Looking well. Oh my God. I told you we're going to be parents of a medical doctor. Glory be to God. How do you she has grown up to become an angel. Dad, I hope so many men have not been invading the house lately. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my God. And who's the daughter? Oh, Emanuela. She's a new member of the family. Why don't you allow our young doctor Time to settle down before you do the introduction. He asked a question that deserves an answer. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm Eric. Dr. Eric, precisely. You may call me the Prince of Egypt. And um, I am Emanuela. You will call me the Queen of Sheba. The prince of Egypt meets the queen of Sheba in my own father's house. <laughs> okay, okay. It is my pleasure, your highnesses. <laughs> Come on, son. Come on, son. Let me know how it feels being a medical doctor qualified. Uh, yeah. Come on, girls. Yeah, welcome back. Let's go to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Fresh meat. Let's go prepare a delicious one for our homecoming prince. Yeah. Prince, so we shut up. Don't let Emanuela hear you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> My dear, how was the service? We really missed you. Yes, we missed you, did. Well, it was splendid. <laughs> I missed everyone. So, I heard the girls are so beautiful. Yes, they are. But none of them is half as beautiful as both of you. Thank you. So, are we expecting any of the girls to visit us soon? Adam, always inquisitive. But that is a few words now. I just ask a question. Well, no girl is feasting us soon. I don't need that. I need to stay focused on my career. Hey, Ada, enough. Can we enjoy this meal? We talk after dinner. Ah. Oh. Dad, your, your meal is quite heavy. Going out. Yeah, taking my wife out to dinner. You better get dressed. Uh oh, that's so kind of you, but I'm kind of tired tonight. I don't know if we could stay at home and, you know, I'll make something nice. Are you turning me down? Of course not. I'm not turning. I know that you love me and that you're trying to give me a treat, but... I'm just trying to be a good husband. Of course you're a good husband. And I love you. Okay, um, how about we're the Chinese? Wow, that would be lovely. So what is the special occasion today, Anna? Well, I love my wife. I just want to be a treat, that's all. Really?
already inside. I didn't hear you knock. I did. Maybe you were too engrossed in what you were doing. Oh, she's beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. I know. But her beauty is to someone else. She will always be beautiful for me. But she belongs to someone else now. Excuse me. Do I know you? No, you don't. But you will. Because I'm here to ease your pains and your betrayals. What are you talking about? I'm the Queen of Sheba. Remember? <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm not King Solomon. So I don't need the Queen of Sheba to seduce me. I'm not. They should be happy. I told her what to do and I asked her to go to his room. So. And from your experience, do you think he's going to accept her at the end of the day? Yeah, from all indications. I know Emanuela is beautiful. <laughs> I'm only here to ease your pains and mend your broken heart. So. Close your eyes. Excuse me. Mom! John, what is going on here? Who, who is that thing that's pestering me in my room? I beg your pardon. That angel you call a thing is here to help you. I don't need a nurse, Dad. And even if I need one, all you guys the only one that my heart will ever desire. Shut up, son. You don't talk with such emotion of a woman who was shameless and a heartless woman who abandoned you for another man. She did not. Ah. Yes, I had a commitment with Oliver, but mom, you allowed me to slip away. The poor girl did not help. I said that to you, but you refused oh. to help her out. Is that what she told you? Yes. I felt I needed five million naira to be flown abroad for surgery. I sent that poor girl to you for assistance, but you turned her down. The only option she had was to marry her boss, who insisted that that was the only way he was going to help her out. Eric. Are you blaming the whole thing on me? Yes, I blame it on both of you. You and that for refusing to help out my fiance. Shut your mouth. I was never ever going to approve that marriage between you and Olivia, whatever she calls herself. I love her, Dad. I love her. What is the matter of that? I have the right to choose whoever is going to become my life partner. Well, you got it all wrong. You must marry Emanuela, period. Yes. I see. So that's the whole game plan, huh? That's the whole game plan. No problem. We shall see. My friend, don't you have a room in this house? Well, mommy said I should be sleeping in the guest room, handing your return. But since you're here, I could stay with you. You see. You know what you're going to do? Pack your voluminous body out of this bedroom, back to the guest room if you know what is good for you. Eric, don't you dare talk to me like that. I deserve some level of respect. Oh, I'm sorry I misplaced my respect where I'm coming from. Pardon me if I don't know how to talk to a cheap, priceless, lily-livered piece of garbage. Now get out of this room before I squeeze the living daylight out, out of you. Eric. I'm your fiancé and we're going to get married so why don't we just try to work things out instead of yelling at each other I'd rather pick one of those girls hanging out in the street my god now leave this room before I kill you Nick your dad has approved of this marriage and also my parents so let's let's work things out Eric, please, let's just make things work between us, okay? 
I know you're just. I said, get the hell out of this room right now. Get out! Get out! I said, get out! Get out! Get out! that what happened in a time will never repeat itself. I want you to get something straight, Dad. You have to realize the fact that I'm a man and I have the right to choose whomever my future wife is going to be. You don't have the right to impose a bride on me. Besides, she's going to live with me and not you. I mean very well for you. I hope you know that. That's what you think. That is what you think, but you don't. Sealed. I said sealed. From now on, this matter is closed. Meanwhile, go and get dressed up. You are going with me to the office, and I will introduce to management staff. Thereafter, we take over the business. For Christ's sake, Dad, do you realize I'm a medical doctor and not a businessman? I intend to practice medicine and not run your business. I am offering you a plum job, my son. I am not interested. Dad, I did not spend seven whole years in a medical school only to come out and run a business that has nothing to do with my career. I am your father. You are my first son, Eric, remember? And I tell you, I sent you to school to go and study medicine simply because I wanted you to have that doctor in your name. Dad, you mean I spent seven whole years of my life in a medical school studying human anatomy, one year of housemanship, and another year doing my youth service just to obtain the title as a doctor to impress you? For Christ's sake, Dad, I'm a qualified medical doctor, and that is what I'm going to practice. I am a successful businessman, and I own a vast empire of businesses. You are my son. I don't just mean well, but I mean the best for you. Remember, you are heir apparent to my throne. But under one condition, you must do what I say. Well, I have my life to live. I just hope you, want, you don't want to rebel against me. <laughs> Eric, the consequence will be too great for you to bear. I must tell you, young man. Now you better begin to think of your new appointment as a general manager of my company and start making arrangements for your wedding ceremony, your white wedding ceremony. The date has been set for you and Emanuela to get wedded. Dad. What? Why, why don't you want to see reasons with me? Why? Why can't you ever see reasons with me? All right, since you are still rebellious, I have decided to put a stop to all matters concerning these issues. And that is fine. Dad, do you realize you're in the 21st century? You have no right to impose a wife on me or tell me the kind of business I have to do. And it's all like nonsense. Eric, you're not fighting with your father again, are you? Fight? Fight with, the, with, with an army general in his own barracks in this military dictatorship government? Eric. Mom, please, I want you leave me alone. Eric. Just leave me alone. Eric.
forget about our parents trying to bring us together. I like you a lot. I really want this relationship to work. Love grows. With time, you get to realize that. For the impossible. But I think you are misunderstanding Dad's intentions. Ada, this is more than matchmaking. Okay. Daddy brought her in. When we learned that Olivia had married her boss in the office. We all scared for you. I guess that felt the only way to bring smile to your face was to bring in Emanuela. I mean, she's beautiful, or don't you think so? She's even more than what you're thinking, though. That had done your introduction in your absence. You did what? You are engaged, you and Manola. This is ridiculous. I mean, in this 21st century, that should have asked me first. Oh, we're scared. We all felt terrible when Olivia left for another man. Excuse me. Nobody should ever use that as an excuse. That never liked Olivia from day one. Right, I'll call the police on you, and I'm serious. Julie! Bring the file to my table, please. Don't 
Tell me George is still disturbing me. <laughs> disturbing me is an understatement. That guy, I don't believe him. She blames me. What's his problem? Don't tell me he's still fighting for his friend. His friend? That guy is fighting for himself. Can you believe that? And he's actually married. The man is a married man. I don't even know what he wants. What does he want? I don't know. See, I think you better report him to your husband. Before it gets out of your hand. <laughs> report him to my husband? No. What am I supposed to tell him? What do you want to tell him? Exactly what's happening. That a man like him is asking his wife out, sending his wife flowers. Please, think of something else. Okay. The guy's really beginning to get on my nerves, you know. So what do you want to do? Hmm. I hear Eric is back. We go. Because I do not ever want to go. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Is this the correction I said you should make? No, Come on, take this in back to the chief clerk. Sure, sir. Nonsense. Who is this? Who am I saying? <laughs> Brigadier General Professor Dr. Eric Ndo. Short! <laughs> and your soldier? Oh, sorry. Captain <laughs> George himself. <laughs> My captain. You're yeah, welcome back. Sit down. You're going to see evidence of you. I saw your mess call yesterday and I knew you were in town. Yes, sir. <laughs> How was the service? Splendid. I conquered. You're yeah, welcome back. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. <sighs> but I have a problem. What is the problem? What problem are you talking about again? You just came back yesterday. What is your problem? Olivia. Oh boy, stop that joke. You should know Olivia is a forgotten issue. Well, I tried my best to make her wait for you, but unfortunately, because of pressure, she couldn't wait for you. Oh, but I'm not happy we're losing out, though. If you are, I'm not, I'm not going to lose out, I'm telling you. I'm not going to lose out. But leave, 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 listen. This is no time for levity. Huh? The major problem is my father. The man has become so impossible, so difficult. One, he doesn't want me to practice. He wants me to take over his business. Then two, he has already gotten me a wife. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Great! Congratulations! <laughs> sure, your father is riding on the old school train. Oh boy, I am not here to joke. I am not interested in any of his plans. You should know me better now. Huh? I am an independent man. All I want to do is practice and then settle down with the woman of my choice. <laughs> Your situation is pathetic. <laughs> well, listen, listen, you're my friend. Yeah? And that's why I'm here. What do you advise me to do? Is him threatening that bad? Fire and brainstone. Then use your brain. By the time you wear your father's business empire, you don't have to toy with him. Look around. Look at all the girls. Tell me who amongst them that cherishes poverty. Nobody. In fact, without money, I'm not existing. Wait, wait, wait. What, what are you insinuating? I advise you, you use your brain. Present your father with this proposal. Tell him you will accept to marry that woman of his choice on the condition that he allows you to practice your profession. Then advise him to expand his business empire by building you a hospital. Big hospital. It's also investment. What are you talking about? Marry that girl? What if I can't cope with her? By the time you end up locking your father's business empire in your trunk box, hide the key. Then you can kick the girl away and marry a lady of your choice. 
Can't you understand? What? Is this what you were taught in the military school? Sure, sir! The solution master himself. My captain! You know what? Expect my wedding invitation in a couple of days' time. I'm going to be your best man. Who else will be my best man other than the solution master himself? Hmm? One more salute for you. The captain! I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you immediately. The captain himself! What do you think? Uh -huh. Oh, well, never mind. Um, you girls should just try and have fun, okay? You know what, darling? I'm sure you're going to keep your voice, okay? Adam? Huh? Is that back? At home? Yes. Okay, then. Mm. Have a nice time. You too. Mm. You may run along now. How are you today? Okay. Well done. I'm sorry about everything that happened. I guess I overreacted. Does that suggest that you have accepted my propositions? Yes. I am um, going to marry Emanuela. But Dad, you have to give me some time to practice medicine. After a while I can take over your business. Why not now? You see that I need to justify the several years I spent in the medical school. You know, let me just practice medicine for a while that then your business can follow. But alternatively, we can set up a, a hospital. That is also business, isn't it? Yeah, that sounds uh, quite promising. But I have to think about that. Oh. Father God, I give you the glory. The war is over, isn't it? Woman, I said I'll think about it. Well, I'll be in my room then. Is all right, then. All the best. Okay. From me again, huh? What is it? What do you want? Yes! Seeing seeing you and talking to you in your husband's office is not a problem. And I decided to let Ambush here because I know you must always be in our girl's boutique. So, Mr. Ambush Maker, how many years have you been here for? Huh? Oh, it's not important. What's important is that I brought you flowers myself. Flowers? Haven't I asked you never to send me flowers again? Did I not make that clear? What do you want from me? What is this? What is the problem? What is your problem, huh? What is it? Olivia, you're pretty. And you're prettier when you're angry. And that shows how romantic you are going to be in bed. You are insane. You're definitely insane. You, you give me sleepless nights. You won't understand how much I want to hold this unloving name for you. And I know you love me too. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't you go home to your miserable wife, eh? I really pity that woman, you know. I wonder how she ended up with a man like you. <laughs> I love you. I love you more than anything in this whole universe. And I will do anything humanly possible to get you. Keep dreaming. And you'll soon have the police on your heels, okay? But you try me. <laughs> how romantic. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again! <laughs> Whether you like it or not, I must get you. <laughs> so blessed for me. <laughs> 
Don't you know where the kitchen is? This is a woman. There's a limit to a man's patience. And don't you forget that there's also a limit to a starved man's patience. Is that why I should starve in my own house? Listen, you haven't seen anything yet. You think you can turn me into a piece of furniture in this your house? Let me tell you something. Just forget the way we met. I am a happening girl and you know that. And let me tell you, I know what time it is. And I too can play the game. You must be out of your mind. Each day. Since we got married, you run around town with those useless women. I am not as useless as you are. Oh, you are not as useless as I am. Then why are you punishing me? Why are you caging your sexual urge towards me? And then you come back home, you pour down your emotions at me. Why are you doing this to me? Why am I your wife? Why are you doing this? I don't have your time. Madame Lynn, the right foot here. Okay. Ah. Hello, honey. Sorry I had to quickly drop you this note. I've tried your line, it didn't work. I'm on a trip right now. Thanks for the last visit. You were such a memorable one on bed. How lucky am I to have you? Well, I look forward to the day you come to my house. That provides a better security than the hotel. All the same, let us meet at Jody Hotel as you suggested. Then I love you and love forever, darling.
The man be like postman. Na postman. If you see him again, can you recognize him? I uh, recognize him, recognize him. Uh, the man wear helmet too. But I feel recognize that shot. you served. All right? So come to the table. I'm not hungry. Honey, you won't believe what I made for lunch. I made your fifth, right? Okay? So I'll be waiting for you at the table. I'll be there. All right, I'm waiting for you. Oh. I don't want your food to get cold, okay? I said I'll be there in a minute. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Al. I did not see Dr. Alfred though, but I miss the other fair doctor. And he carried out a test on me. What's wrong with you? Why are you not uh, responding? I'm okay. I've got a lot in my mind or so. <laughs> By the time I'm through telling you what I have to tell you, you don't have much in your mind except what I tell you. That's why you really have to eat your food anyway. Mm. And listen. Like I said, carrying out the test on me. And, um, Alfred, I'm pregnant. What sort of performance are you trying to put up? Mm. The other time, you said I did not cook for you. Now I have cooked for you. You don't want to eat. You're going out. Why? When will you start making me feel like your wife? When? Get the hell out of this place! What did I employ you to do? Okay, to drive, sir. Good. Now, my wife must not go anywhere without you driving her. Is that clear? I want to know where she is at, at, at any point in time. Yes, sir. Eric! 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 Where are you going to? Okay, you are going up here. 
me? You will come back and meet me in this house. Impotent man. I cannot even make a woman feel like a real woman. You will come back and wait for you. This be true, Olivia cheating on me. <laughs> I will get to the root of this matter. Join that movie. Please keep watching and don't change the channel. My beloved, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the hotel as planned. I saw a car that looked like a husband, so I drove past. Bearing my safety. I miss you. Since you don't like my place, shall we meet at your friend's house where we first met on our way to the office? I miss your tender touch and kiss. Love forever. Darlington. <laughs> What did he give to you? It's nothing, it's... Nothing? No. You feel the liar. Give that to me! Albert! I said give that to me! You are encroaching on my privacy, hey. Albert! Excuse me. Did I hear you say privacy? Privacy, my left foot. Let me tell you, you have a lot of explanations to make. Do you understand that? That's it. That's it, isn't it? Destroy my life. Oh, 
was trying to ruin my life. I don't know. Is it over now? I don't know. Is it over now? I don't know whoever this guy is. Tell me something I don't know. He's trying to blackmail me here, you know. Very cheap. doing this to me. God, what have I done? I don't think I've done anything wrong to anybody. Oh God, please help me. And I know who's It is George. George? Yes, George. It is George trying to blackmail me. George? George. Blackmail you? No, 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 no. George won't stop solo. See, I know George. He's a womanizer, yes. But for this little trick, no. It is not his style, okay? It is not. Ogo, are you an accomplice? Excuse me? Then why are you defending him vigorously? See, I am not. What do you know about him? Uh -uh. Do you know that George threatened me? Do you know that he threatened that he was going to stop at nothing until he takes me to bed? And I'm sure that this is one of his tricks. In fact, this is his last resort. I know that. You can't be so sure. I am dead sure, Ogo. I am sure this is just work. He's trying to blackmail me. But you go tell him. Tell George that I said he has not heard the last from him, from me. He does, he's not even willing. Okay? He can't mess up with my, with my, with my marriage, okay? Tell him I said I am it's going okay. to fight him. Okay. I am going to fight him with everything I have. I am going to fight him. Tell George that. Take okay? It, take it. He has not had the last one. Olivia! Olivia. What is this? Is it over now? Mm. Is it really over now? After all I've been through, who's trying to destroy my life? Oh, who's trying to ruin my life? Anything to say to you. Look, Albert, you should know me. You're my husband. I can never cheat on you. And definitely not now that I'm carrying your baby. Honestly, Olivia, I really don't know you. You know, you really give me cause to suspect you. I am very suspicious of you. Ever since we got married, I have never shared my body with any other man. Believe me. I have never. I have a very long day today. Excuse me.
Madame. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. Ma, I wasn't the plate I ate with. Plate, I'm for you. What are you doing now? Ah, Madam, I'm about to leave now. Is it closing time yet? Yes, Madam. Mm -hmm. Anything I can do for you? That's why for. Oh, oh madam, you can leave me in this part. Ah, Oga, madam, Oga, this Oga is for me. Don't come in any moment. The gentleman he said was waiting for me outside. He's outside. Just let him in. Hello. Okay, I'll send it to your office. All right. All right. Good morning, madam. Good morning. All right, I'll call you back. How can I help you? Um, I'm from the federal tax office. I'm here to discuss the new policies with the company. Please sit down. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So we have um. Good. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm just stressed. I've been potting since in the morning, and uh, you know this is our government job. What Jesus Christ? Are you sure you don't want to use the restroom? Oh, do you have any? Definitely on the left. Yes. Hello, sir. Would you please go to your wife's office now? There's something that will interest you there. So, what's Honey, I've been waiting. My God. Did you lock the door? I told, I told you the office is not safe. I told you. Oh. 
Olivia. What is going on? I really don't know what is going on here, you know. Even in the office? From the crime here? Whatever is going on? Even in this office? Who was that? Oh God! Oh God! Oh God, I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. I am finished. See, oh God, sister. The judge has done his worst. Right now, my husband has divorced me. What? I am telling you that my husband has divorced me because of George. What is it? What does George want from me? What is it that George wants from me? Stop it, Olivia. What have I told you? Did you ask him? You might be wrong, you know. What, 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 what is the problem now? What did I do to George? What does he want from me? Am I the only one around? What is it that what have I done to George? It's okay. Why is George doing this Take to me? Take it easy. Take what it easy. Is it? What does he want from me? Take it easy. What does George want from me? What does he want from me? I think you have succeeded, eh? Listen, pleasant visit. God will not spare you. Olivia, calm down. Excuse me. Can you ladies tell me what is this? Oh yes, you can help me and I will tell you how. My marriage has broken. Yes, no thanks to you and your useless blackmail. You sent those letters. Then you sent that man to my office to come and perform that useless act. Simply because I refused to give in to your demands, didn't you? Can somebody tell me what they're talking about? Talking I can about? tell you what is going on. Your plans have worked on. Your plans has really worked because right now my husband has divorced me. Isn't that what you wanted? Clap for yourself. But whatever is it they call you, Captain George or whatever, ten of your type, pack them together. Ten of your type cannot. You cannot as much as see the lace of my bra. Do you understand? And as long as I live, Olivia, I say it today and I stand by it that you will die a sudden death. And somebody tell me this. I will die. I will die. Call your best friend over there. Call them now. Call them wherever they are. Who do you think you are? Do you think I'm scared of you? You see that now. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Are you, are you not the last of it all. You are not the last of it. You are not the last of me. Use that man. Just to him. Because he's going to hear from me. Shameless. See, Captain George. Calm down. Take it easy. Someone has been blackmailing her. And she thinks I'm the one blackmailing her. I, Captain George, condescending solo to the level of blackmailing a woman because I want to get her. that I don't know what you're talking about. You have been married to mom now for ages and I've never heard of any case of infidelity between both of you. You trouble every now and then in pursuit of your business, yet mom keeps herself. Why can't my so-called wife do the same? Can you imagine Emanuela descending as low as sleeping with my driver? I caught them red-handed right here in my sitting room. Let me tell you something. Emanuela has come to complain to me several times that you don't treat her like a wife. That ever she's got married to you, you hardly sleep with her. You don't even eat her food. You are always playing true and see. And time she demands an explanation and apology, you turn her into a punching bag. You beat her up mercilessly to the point of him inflicting injuries on her. Is that how to be a husband? No, I'm asking you, is that how to be as a good husband as, you ought to be? As far as I'm concerned, Emanuela is nothing but a cheap woman without a virtue. You know what my profession is all about, that? You know that it's my profession. I'm a medical doctor and you know that profession is quite demanding. Any time I try to explain to Manuela, she will never be willing to listen to me. But I want to put it to you that there are several medical doctors who have made a success of the marriages. So why is yours different? Instead of you accepting that you have failed in your responsibility as a husband, you're using that as something to cover up. I will not accept that for an excuse. It's okay, Dad. It's okay. But now that I, Dr. Eric Ndo, is sharing my wife with my driver, what do I do? I know I may not be sent on issue concerning women, but it cannot go to the extent of doing what will spoil a, or, or break an innocent girl's marriage. You know? <laughs> George, you never mind. Uh, you know, as a police officer, my duty is to prevent crime and track down criminals. Right now, an investigation tracked him will start work immediately. Chris, you just have to do something. I am very, very passionate about this matter. Look, even if it warrants 
sending a whole battalion to join your team. <laughs> My friend, that. Hey, that one is unnecessary. Are we going for another peacekeeping operation? <laughs> Judge, you can always count it out. Chris, you just have to do something. You just have to. Yes, no problem. Okay. Police, can't ask you a question. Uh -huh. You see one big bike man when they come here? Uh, big one, big, mm -hmm. uh, big one. Now you in see? And I'm in see. Mm. And how many of them come? The only one I see. Only one? Uh, one. Uh -huh. And the, the, the time where you come? Now you collect now you collect something for your guy going inside, Abby? Uh, uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. Okay. The man, you see the man? I know, I know, I know. See face. Hmm. He wear big, big He wear big helmet. He carry, he push it for eye. Mm, no, the team will cover and be like guys. See, the team will be mm, like. Okay, okay. The, the man, he tall or he short? He tall. He tall. The man tall. He tall. Mm. He fat or he slim? He fat. He slim. He tall. Okay, okay, okay. You know the color of the motorcycle. Mm. The motorcycle color with now yellow or this color or black. Be, one be like that. One be like that one. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 How about your guy? Your guy didn't. But I got no deal. No deal. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's only one answer with that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Bye bye. have the infantry, the gods, to come back into this house after what happened in the office. Oh, but believe me, I really don't know what is going on here. Look, you really need to hear me out. Hear you out. Hear you out. If you know what is good for you, pack yourself and out of this house this minute. You understand that? Dr. Eric! Mm. Oh, wow. 
Oh boy, look down cast, what's up? Oh boy, <clears throat> you won't believe it. That I, Dr. Eric Ndu, has been sharing my wife with a common driver. What do you mean? Emanuela has been having a good time with my driver. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> This woman revolves around the same circle. Oh. <laughs> Do you know Olivia's marriage has broken too? What? Caught in the same act. You don't say. And she claimed she was blackmailed. And then all fingers point at me, Captain George. Why? Uh, because of my interest in your whole affairs. When I noticed uh, you know everything, so I just felt uh, all your investments should not go like that. So I decided to get our own share. <laughs> so. so You've been running after my girl. She's still your girl. She's still your girl. Ah, kill her. Boy, I fear you. Yes, sir. You've lost out. My girl is good. <laughs> but one thing is clear. I don't have to blackmail any woman before I get her. Because of this, I must get to the root of this matter. Because my hands are clean. Are you sure? Honestly, my hands are clean. My hands are clean. Worse than this when we brought him here. Let's just thank God you're okay. Don't worry, God will give you another baby, okay? Wait, eh? Mm -hmm. I thought he was the one anymore. He does not trust me. How can I be married to a man that does not trust me? Huh? Look at what the church has done to me. Look at what that church has done to me. Eh? He has made me lose my marriage and my baby. Eh? It's all right. Everything is fine now. It's okay. Ah, yes, I have to know. Yes. Oh, of course, sir. Oh, we are in farm control of the area. In fact, I've sent another set of team to that place. No problem, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Your commissioner? Of course. <laughs> but, Judge, yeah. no problem. Oh, that reminds me. My boys were at the hospital to see Olivia. And she said she received another letter from the same Festus Darlington. Again? Yes, but I can assure you, go do something about that. Please, I can't wait to get this off my chest. Son, Judge. Very, very soon, we'll get to the bottom of this matter. It's a promise. Chris, you know we've gone a long way. I want you to do everything humanly possible to get me out of this shame and embarrassment. I am counting on you. You can be rest assured. Operation Beggar 001. Arrive adjacent to hospital. Day 2. Any currency yet? Beggar Operation. Day 2 report. No currency. Still on standby. Over. Operation Beggar 001. Please wait for my command. Out.
Watch out for two currents on heavy motorbike. Watch out and wait for my command. Over now. Message received. Over. Standing by at a lot. Over. Ah, come on, dear. What do you call me? I don't chop. as a police officer is to prevent crime and track down criminals. Those blackmailers, we have them. You have them? Yes, we have them. Great. But they have not confessed. But Olivia was here to identify one of them as a man that came to our office. Chris, let me see them. Let me see them George. and start working on them now. George, George, wait. Although you are my friend, but this is purely an official matter. You cannot go beyond this extent. So, how is Olivia? Oh, she's fine. Uh, she's out of the hospital. Chris, I feel for that girl. Excuse me? It's not what you think. It is just that I pity her situation. Well, she will get back. Chris. Thank you so much. I should be on my way now. Please, when those boys confess or tell you who is behind them, let me know. Sure, I will. What is it? 
How about you wanted a divorce and you got one? The court granted your request, so why are you calling me? Oh, but how heartless can you be? You actually beat me to stoop up and left me in the hospital to die. Not even caring about the baby that I lost. God, Albert, how, how heartless could you be? What, what, really, what really went wrong? Anyway, I, I really don't want to talk to you, Albert. Mm -mm. No, I really don't want to hear that. It's over. It's really over. My heart is left. Definitely. Don't call me again, please. I will let you. I'm surprised. What, what are you doing here? You came for shopping? Hi, how are you doing? You know, she's an old friend, you know. Um, Olivia, listen, I know you're very mad at me right now, okay? But at least let's let's go somewhere and talk for old time's sake. I don't want to go anywhere with you. Please, I don't want to go anywhere with you, okay? So please, please, please. Easy, please, easy, easy. I'm begging you, please. Okay. Olivia, okay. listen. Listen, I'm sorry about everything that happened, okay? Let's... We can talk no. things over, we can walk... No. Easy. Okay, take it easy, easy, easy. Can we just... Can you help me, can you help me talk to her, please? about everything that happened. I'm sorry about the way my parents treated you when you ran to them for help. I love you, Olivia. And I will always love you. It's a pity I wasn't available when you needed me the most. But there was nothing I could do. I couldn't afford that kind of money. I was just a poor student. I'm very sorry. But... I wonder who should be apologizing between both of us. I, I, I feel so betrayed. I mean, did you have to leave me for another man just because? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but... I was going to wait patiently for you, believe me. I would. But the event took its turn. What would I have done? And you had to marry your boss? Christ's sake, Olivia, when my parents refused, why didn't you persist? Persist? How could I persist? For heaven's sake, your parents never even agreed that we had a relationship in the first place. But they knew we were dating. I mean, your father never approved well, of our relationship in the first place. Five million naira is not five thousand naira. Where would I have gotten the money from? I had a damn father. This thing happened within the space of two months. My father was diagnosed of, a, of an ailment. We had to fly him abroad. I didn't have the money. The parents were adamant. I couldn't. There was nobody helping me. Okay? And I had to make a decision. I had to take my father out. I had to do something. The only way of hope I had was my boss. He gave me a condition. I had 
have to follow it. That was the only thing I had to do. I didn't know what else to do. I was confused. I didn't have any help. Okay? And he died after all this? Well. So. How is your husband? My husband. He lost me. What? That's what he did. Yeah. Um, something happened. It's a whole thing that I won't talk about now, really. So you achieved what you wanted? The contract is now over and you have to leave the man? How could you say a thing like that? Huh? How could you? That's not what happened. He left me. I didn't grieve him. I wouldn't have ever left him. He divorced me. say to this we've been through thick and thin gone astray like sheep we've been around and now we're back together again I was also married but the marriage never worked because my father imposed a woman on me I never liked her I've always longed for a day like this that I'll look into your eyes and tell you that I love you so much. So, will you marry me? Yes. 
have the right to remain silent or anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. What is the problem? For goodness sake, you have been stopping my friend's wedding. I'm sorry. I am Captain George. I know you very well, sir. I know you. Please. Please. Your, your, your guy said, I've been stopping my friend's wedding. What's going on? We told the police to do a thorough investigation. Yes. That we have done. The men arrested have confessed that Dr. Eric Kondo Puzzle them to do it. No, 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 but please, I can't believe this. Look, he's my, I know him from Cradle. He can't do this. What are you talking about? I did it. And why did you have to do it, let me ask? Eric, you did what? I'm sorry, George, but I had to do it. It was like the whole world was against me. My parents wouldn't understand. The world was not ready to understand as well. I just had to do what I had to do. To win back the love of my life in totality. Olivia. Eric, you did what? You disappointed me. You disgraced me. You brought my name to disrupt it. Madam, considering the extent of this damage, I hope you're ready to press for charges. Yes, I'll press for charges. But that, of course, is after my wedding. We're losing time. Shall we? Boys! Love is a beautiful thing But true love is hard to find when you find it, try to keep it. When you find it, let's go, let's go. Cherish it. Cause love is a special thing. And love is a precious thing. <laughs> 